Well, guys, once upon a time in my life, I got divorced and I got custody of three kids. And things were good until work slowed down. And then you got laid off. You, you were lucky to make ends meet. Well, during one of those times, um, we had a we had a nice storm. Power went out, and I had a you know a, a kerosene lamp in the house for light, but it it got to the point that I didn't have extra money for gas to run into town or extra money for to buy more kerosene. And my kerosene was quite a ways down in the, in the, in the tank. It was short, really short. And it got to the point that the, the wick couldn't reach any of the kerosene. Well, you know, well, that, that kind of screws things up. Now this wick, better get closer. This wick goes clear to the bottom, as you can see. Well, maybe you can see. Yeah, that's a little bit better. It goes clear to the bottom. It's extra long. But this wick that I had was short. Like I said, the kerosene was low in it. And I wanted to get some light in there. I had a couple candles, but they didn't get get off enough light for, light for the kids. So, we had an old aquarium there that had some stones and stuff in it. No water. So I just took some of the stones out and slowly lowered them into the tank until I raised up the kerosene so it would meet the wick. Now hindsight, when I think about it now, what I could have done and didn't realize it then, that I could have just took an old sock and sew it to the... Um, wick or something like that to uh, so get down there far enough so it would uh, reach the kerosene. I could have sewed it, I could have pinned it, it wouldn't have mattered as long as it was able to suck up the oil from the bottom of the tank. So that's something to think about if things really get bad and to say that you got a little bit of kerosene in there but not enough to reach the wick because the wick got short. Do like I said, either throw some stones in there to raise the tank, the oil, or take an old sock, which would, which would work better, and even pin it to the wick so it will reach the bottom and suck up that oil. So there you go, you, you're smarter now. Just remember, don't take a whole lot. you got to think ahead. Hi, Kitty. <laughs> yeah, I see you. Yeah, I know. Everybody wants to help. So that's a... That, I told the kids when I was putting the stones in there, they said, Dad, where did you learn that? I said, an old Indian taught me that. You might want to tell your kids the same thing. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.